go over a couple of things here first thing i wanted to mention is originally this the questions and answers zoom meeting was going to be thursday 12 o'clock chicago time that's been rescheduled to friday something came up over here so i had a i had a postpone it for a day it's still on but it's going to be friday 12 o'clock chicago time go to tarotmaps.com it'll be in the tarot gatherings in the menu and you go right there. And it's just, if you got any questions about the tarot, come on by. And um, I'll give you an answer. If I don't know an answer, I'll just say, I'll make something up. No, I'm, it, I'm just there to, to talk about the cards. The people are looking for answers. What You know, they've got some questions about something. They'd like to run up by me. I'll give you my opinion or my ideas. And um, that's all it is. You don't have to sign up for nothing or nothing like that. Just come on in and say hi. So with that out of the way, I wanted to bring up a couple of things here. This is called the Golden Rider. This was big in the 80s. It's a Rider weight deck. And I don't think they make this anymore. It was U.S. Games... And I can't find it. I can't find them. Probably on eBay, but I don't think you can buy them anymore. They have what's called the Golden Rider Weight. The Golden Rider Weight Tarot Deck. That's new. But this was just called the Golden Rider. And I like I always liked the deck. I've never I only got one copy of this deck. I never used it. We're going to do some sample readings with it. But he did a lot with the colors, this person. And you can see it's the same images, but just um, a different palette on there. So. Just a different look. And what's interesting about this deck is um, this was a gift to me. It was a store called the Inner Eye in Lombard, I think, the western suburb of Chicago. And about once a month, I would go out to the Quest bookstore, which was out that way, western suburbs. And um, this was in the 80s. And the inner eye was on my way there. So I would always stop at the inner eye too. It was a nice new age bookstore. And they were around a while, well known. And the owner was Linda, was her name. Not my wife, another Linda. And I would talk with her. And, and uh, she was a reader there in the store too. It's her store. And she was going out of business. And so I went in there. She, she was going through some old stock there. The store was still open and there was stuff on the shelves there. But she was she was getting ready to close the doors. And, and she knew I was into the tarot. So she gave me this deck as a gift. She said, I'm going to give you this. It was her deck. She used it. it wasn't new. And um, she gave me this. She says, you know, it's oh, it's nice to get a deck for, for as a gift because it's supposed to have more energy to it. And that was nice of her to do. Um, I was a customer for her for a long time. Anyway, I never used the deck. I always liked the deck. And I'm glad I got a copy of the Golden Rider because I just liked the way it looked. But um, so we're going to use it today. That was in the 80s. A long time ago. 
Something else I wanted to mention that I thought was kind of interesting. This is a um, copy of the Tarot Marseille instruction booklet that can't used to come with the deck, the Tarot Marseille deck. BP Grimmett's Tarot Marseille. And what I did is I, I, I enlarged it to a book form type of size, and I created my own booklet of it. It's really a mess. It was translated from French. And um, they, you know, back in the seventies or whatever this was made, it really wasn't um, done like it would be today. But anyway, I always mentioned that, you know, as far as card spreads go, I always felt that we could have did more as far as advancing forward with the application of card spreads. And I look at this card spread, and I think. Um, we did advance to a certain extent. This is called the full draw spread. And it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but that's what it is right there. And it's showing one 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 group of cards here. And then there would be a second group in the center and a third group over here. And what it was, was this was a, a spread where you laid all these cards out. And this first group over here was for men. The middle group was for women. And this over here was the third group was for children. And it never made any much sense to me because why would you lay all those cards out if you're if I'm reading a guy, I'm not going to lay the women's cards out and the children's cards out. Or if I'm reading a woman, I'm not going to bother with the men's card and the women, the children's card either. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you lay all those cards out if you're only reading one person? Anyway, it was done very confusing. and it's, um, But it was an interesting thing for me to read, so I kept it and... We have come along. We have come pretty far with, with card spreads. I shouldn't say we haven't progressed. We have. But we could have progressed a lot more. <laughs> that's that's my opinion. So the full spread, Terrell Marseille, BP Grimmett. And that's what was in that manual, that, that little booklet. So we'll get started here. I'm going to do a card spread here with the Golden Rider. And we'll take it from there. Be doing a Celtic Cross. And my question is always going to be how are we going to achieve our goal? So if you have a goal you're trying to achieve, you might find something interesting here. Here we go. And like I said, I always liked this deck. The Golden Rider. And she did use these cards. And she was a she was a good reader. Well, she owned the store. 
but she didn't use them that much because they were pretty good shape here. But they were used enough to know she, they were they were used. Put them out in three packs. Are we going to achieve our goal? Fool one is fool and judgment. I'll go with judgment. Valuations. Making decisions, looking at all the aspects to achieve our goal. Judgment card, position one. And the wheel, position two. Things are constantly moving with this situation, making it kind of hard to make a, a, a good, solid decision on anything because the wheels keep on turning on this situation. You're able to hold things at bay for now, but you're trying, you're you're being held back to make a decision for some reason. And you're able to hold things back though. So nothing's really pressing. Time's on your side with this. You have time to wait on this. You don't really know where you're going with this either, with the moon card. But you do know it's a good it's a significant move and it's a big decision. Ace of Swords, as far as your assets goes, you're ready to make a, a big change here. So things are prepared as far as everything else in your life. Yeah, you can make a change. Minor adjustments here and there, and you'll be able to go forward with, with a change if you want to make it. Six of Pentacles. I see you making progress. As we come to the end of this year, 2023, things will start to come together. As things start to fall into place around you, you'll be able to move forward and clear this path up here on the moon and give yourself a more clearer direction on things. So things will start to clear up. You're excited about the situation with the Page of Wands. You're, you're looking forward to it. You're ready for the change. And the time is right now. The time is good for you to give yourself something that is really for you. It's, you know, instead of taking care of everybody else, it's nice to be able to say, well, this is for me. Something I deserve. And I see that with you here with the Nine of Pentacles. You're looking for a change. You're looking for to rearrange furniture. And you want to put out your own ideas, things that come from you instead of following from somebody else. You have you want to put your you want to express your own thinking on things. This would be good for a business for yourself or expressing your own views in a in a more clearer light than you have been able to in the past on something, your point of view. Eight of Wands. Looks like there's going to be clear sailing here with this. No resistance once you start to put all this together. I like your ideas. What's interesting here, I think the last card spread I did about a month ago or three weeks ago, and I want to check, I think the Eight of Wands was the 10th card there too. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not too sure. I don't remember. It might have been in ninth position. We got this moon card looks pretty exciting. Though. You don't have all the answers to something, and but you are trying to find them, and it does frustrate you when you don't have them. I do see you being able to iron things out as time goes on. Significant move here. Numbers one and two position are both major arcana. And outside of the moon, that's the only major arcane is on the whole table. So I do feel that this is an important decision, a big step for you. And you're in a good position to make it. 
because of the way things are sitting in your life right now, it, it's realistic. You do deserve this, the Nine of Pentacles. In order for your success to really happen, you have to keep telling yourself that this is something I want to do for me. It's for what I want. That helps put things in, in the focus of clarity for yourself as far as where you're going with this. You are open to uh, and anxious to make changes on things that are you're trying to accomplish right now. Once this ball starts rolling with the Eight of Wands, I see it being a smooth transition and things should flow freely. That's because you are not making any changes until things settle down and you can make uh, direct intentional decisions here that will be significant. Where instead of just taking a shot in the dark, you're not doing that. You are waiting for things to settle down. And when that happens, I see a, um, a good thing for you. That's how I see the Celtic cross here. Numbers one and two positions. Question is self. Three position. Is your immediate plans. Four position is your immediate goals. We're going through these plans to get this taken care of. There's usually short-term goals here. Number nine position is the long-term goals. One, two, three, four, five. Something you have going for you here. And I have the Ace of Swords. So you have, you've, learned, you've got all your knowledge together. You have everything you need as far as your end of putting this together. You just have to wait for the right opportunity to do this. And I do see you ironing out that snag in 2023. You're really ambitious about this. You're excited. You deserve it. Expressing your own creativity in your work instead of doing what other people tell you to do, you're going to do it your way. That's what you want. And you're doing something you want to do. Remember, that's key to your success. This is what I want to do. Not about the money. I like doing it. But that's how I'm seeing this Celtic cross. And one other thing you could do is you could layer these, these positions. If I wanted to keep on going, I could throw another layer, layer over this. Right now, a time where taking on troubles and difficulties to get things done, you are anxious to move forward with the chariot card, but decisions have to be made again. I can talk about decisions. Things have to be ironed out, understood between everybody involved, or a clear direction on what you want. You're in a good position to move forward with this, so because the strength card shows you you're, you have a lot of influence on this with other people. I don't see you getting much disagreement given to you from this. I see you being recognized as so many people will listen to if they're arguing with you now, eventually you win that argument with the King of War, King of Swords. So stick to your guns. Eventually people will. Eventually people will see your side of things. You're very inspired about this with the Temperance card. You're very excited about it. King of Swords, Queen of Wands. Now's a good time to have a total understanding of what it is you're doing and know it, know it thoroughly because you're going to start putting this into a manifesting this into a reality not just thinking about it in your head so it's dealing with the mysterious side the spiritual side of life things that are hidden the mysteries of things this could be um New age, it could be becoming a tarot reader, it could be a psychic, the developing psychic awareness. But I see you hitting the spiritual side. Things that are hidden is what you really want to do. 
Ace of Cups. The key to your success is going to be because you love what you're doing. Not because you're in the right place at the right time. You just love what it is you're doing. That makes you good at it. What I like about layers with the card spread, I can go back here and see what was underneath this card and combine the two. Go over here and combine them. That's nice about that, about the layers. I can use both these cards for that position. This position. If I want to find new ideas, a new, new um, go a little deeper. Go over another layer. New situation got you busy with things. Trying to cover up and tie up all the loose ends and move on with out of care in the world. Be ready to take action. Anxious. I see a lot of opportunities coming your way as far as choices on what direction to go in. You'll figure that out. You're ready for the change. You're anxious. You're ready for that change. You want to stir things up, rearrange the furniture. And things right now seem like they're they're hard to move. Don't worry. Eventually, all this is going to crack open and you'll start to get the ball rolling. Again, confirmation, you want to make change. Five of cups, five of swords. That confirms how anxious you are to have this done. You want it to happen tomorrow. You want it to happen yesterday. I do see you being at peace with where you're at with it. I do see you being content with the progress you make with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. So it'll all come together. Give it time. Keep that pay, keep that impatience. That's good for you. It's it's a, it keeps them keeps you chomping at the bit, and you're ready when that, when you get that opportunity to move forward with this. I see you going full tilt. For the Celtic cross with the golden rider. Another good reason for using this deck, if you're familiar with the rider weight, any there's a lot of different versions of the rider weight. This is just one of them, but you know those images very well and so the colors are not going to make a difference really you know the king of cups is going to look like the king of cups to you no matter what the palette is the chariot's always going to be a chariot so it's a nice little deck if you find it if you like this deck i would say ebay is where you want to go but i didn't see it we used to be put out by u.s games i don't see it out there no more I don't think they put it out anymore. I think they stopped printing. But I'm sure there's decks out there. I mean, it used to be all over the place in the 80s. So again, the 25th, Friday. Questions and answers. The tarot, you got any questions? Come on by. I'll give you an answer. And uh, just come on by, say hello. We'll have a good time. Keep throwing cards. We'll talk soon. Bye.